the size that you'll need is the 1.5 pentalobe 1.5 pentalobe screwdriver and that fits in here nicely that will get open the external ones the one hello and welcome to a producer's life in uganda i'm elizabeth ingero and today i have some very sad news unfortunately my five terabyte hard drive is dead so it started making a clicking noise and a humming sound clicking noise and humming sound so I knew that there was something wrong and the light would come on and then go off and it wasn't being read by the laptop so first thing I did I tried putting the hard drive into a different PC to see if it could be read by that PC common sense right so it wasn't being read by that PC next thing I did is I thought this cable might be faulty so I changed the cable this is the type of cable that you'll need for a hard drive this type of external hard drive I changed the cable and uh, to see if that was the issue and still it wasn't working I also tried the cable in a different uh, on a different hard drive because I've got quite a few of them so I tried it on a different one and it worked for that one now I've always had issues with my hard drives because I put them in and any small slight movement you know with my mouse maybe if I'm moving my mouse and it just moves then it goes doo -doo, doo -doo, it goes offline and goes back on again which is a little bit frustrating when you're working in Premiere Pro and you're trying to edit uh, things and you're trying to get information from files to have a look but anyway that's the situation uh, it seems like it's gone and um, you know me being me I always like to see if I can do a DIY solution first before having to send it off to any technical um, person and because this is out of warranty then I decided to have a go myself it turns out that this is beyond you you have to have to I would have to replace parts with this item and it's not just a, an easy fix uh, there is an easy fix where you can just remove the head back and I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment but in summary this needs a part to be replaced because that part is damaged now it would have cost me about 700 800 pounds to send it off to be fixed and that is no and there would have been no guarantee that it would have been fixed and I would have definitely had to pay at a minimum a hundred pounds just for them to look at it because I've already opened it up. So that's where we are with the situation. This is the box that it came in. Can you see this? Yep. And that wasn't the reason why it, it uh, stopped working. But yeah, that's a little dent there. Uh, this is these are the details, the model number. So it's Seagate Barracuda 5 terabyte. And there are a few numbers there that you can see for yourself. ST five hundred L M O O O. So this is what I'm working with in here. The screws. Now I had to get a special screwdriver, and I got this special pack here from. Um, I got it from Amazon, and what I'll do is I will put a link in the description box. So that you, if you need to do it yourself, if you've got one that's out of warranty, you can, you know, and you just know that there's not really much on there that you need maybe and you don't mind tinkering with it, then, um, yeah, I'll put that there so that if you want to try it yourself, you can get the tools. So the weird thing about this is that previously they used to use a torque screwdriver, which is, uh, let me show you, this one. Okay, it's got six points to it. Can't really see that it's got six points to it now in this one they had a mixture of security screws one being a torque screwdriver but they also used a pentalobe screwdriver which is one that has five now these are very very uncommon if you went to screw fix or tool station or anywhere like that it, you, they wouldn't sell it so i've actually gone around to see if i could find okay these are the screws there see if i could find them um, and it was really hard to find it 
so here we've got the one two three four five six that's six so that's the torque torque screwdriver and then i mean screw and then here I'll try and find a pentalobe for you one two three four and this is the pentalobe so this is with five it's like a star shape but five points the other one has six so just be aware with this item here you will need to have different types of screwdrivers you will also need um where did i put it there you go you will also need to have a different sizes of the torque screw drivers as well which i have somewhere okay so you'll need to have that maybe you have like a set a torque screwdriver set that you can use um but that's in there anyway so what i've done is obviously i've had to pry open the case and it's stuck down with glue what you have to do is you just have to gently edge it open keep on edging it open keep on edging it open until it comes off when it comes off you then see this box here and these sections are covered with this foil as well as with this tape here with this um what do you call it this sticker that gives you information that's on top of this so i removed the screws that were visible and those were the pentalobe ones and i will give you the number the, the size number because i found that they weren't um the videos that i watched didn't have the size numbers which was really frustrating it's really frustrating because then you didn't know which one to order online so for the barracuda i will tell you right now whoa don't lose any of them because i need to close it back again if i'm going to try and make it work so the size that you'll need is the 1.5 pentalobe 1.5 pentalobe screwdriver and that fits in here nicely that will get open the external ones the ones that you can see uh, most of the ones you can see i believe then so you need the 1.5 pentalobe screwdriver you also need a torque t5 torque screwdriver so let me just find the one that this one is for let's see one two three four that's the one with five there we go yep you'll need a t5 torque screwdriver t5 and that opens a few of the screws and then you'll also need if i can see it misplaced it somewhere you'll also need i believe it's a, I believe it's a t7 Ah, here they are. You'll also need a... Okay, that's T5. You'll also need a T7. So T7 is for the bigger one here. There you go, you see? T7, which is the torque 7. So they don't make it easy for you to get in, but once you are able to do that then you're good to go these are these plastic things here are hiding the screws so they were on top of the screws i had to put. subscribe to a producer's life in uganda to peel them away to get this to get to the, the screws behind the sticker so take the sticker off take these off and you'll find the, the screws there for you to undo once you've undone that now it is important to say that if you really 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 wanted to definitely get your data off then um, if you don't have a, what they call a clean room that's free of dust and whatnot or a box that you can work within then just don't open it because the more you open it the more likely that you are to contaminate your device if you have the money send it off if you're willing to forego what's on there and you can recreate it or you have a backup or something like that and you want to use it as a learning experience then go ahead and, and try it why not so here we go 
I've got this now and this is what it looks like inside. So you've got the discs there and you've got the read write head right there. I don't want to leave it open for too long because I'm still going to try and replace the head once I'm able to find where to get it from. I'm looking away. I can see a piece of dust has just gone on there that I've pushed away. But that's what it looks like inside. Okay. So this is the bit that's damaged on mine. That's the bit that's damaged on mine. And um, I'm going to have to take a magnet, strong magnet to get this off, unscrew this, take this out, put something to stop the heads from touching, take it out, replace it with one that is good. And hopefully the discs are, you know, not too damaged and I will be able to read something from it. But if not, then, well, they have just lost the information, unfortunately. It's a good thing that I've backed up my original files, but then I labelled some files in this particular way. Um, and um, I, unfortunately, for at some point, because I had several hard drives in, and some of them was J drive, I drive. I thought that I was putting it on one and duplicating it, but it was all on this one. And unfortunately, this is the one that has died. So I have the backup of the other one, but not of this one. And this is the most recent things that I've been working on, the most recent things around here. So I'll try. Um, I will try and then see how it will pan out. But just letting you know anyway, that's what how you get it open. And those are the different screws that you'll need. Because I haven't seen any videos that tell you the sizes of the screws. So um, that's what you'll need to do. Just remember as well, before you try and power it up, if you fixed it, put the screws back. Uh, so that everything will run smoothly when it's inside. But hopefully that's useful to somebody out there. And I will put the link of where I got this these tools um, to get the box open in the first place. But once you take open up the box, then that's going to invalidate your warranty. So just be aware of that. Thank you for watching. Uh, join me next time when I try and show you how to do something and how to get yourself stuck into something. And um, yeah, maybe I'll be able to take you through the next stages if I'm able to find the replacement parts for the for the head. But take care for now. Don't forget to watch the videos. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video as well as well as the numerous other videos out there on this channel of producers life in uganda thank you very much for watching and take care just to show you this is where my read write head was stuck initially that's what you see i'm looking away while i'm talking so that no saliva or spit goes on it that's what you see and now i really just need to find a way to move this back to the starting position so I'm going to do that and then usually do it by twisting the middle <coughs> but I can see that since there's nothing in there right now um, there's usually the shape of a screw in there to help you twist but it's not there so I could put the the actual other screw back and then twist it so I'll see if that works. But I'm trying to get this head back this way. Um, but let me work on this and then I come back. So I managed to get it back to the starting position. Subscribe to A Producer's Life in Uganda.